Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and, um, mostly for, mostly to save me some time, um, I'm currently working on my, uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog right now, um, but to spare me a whole bunch of typing, making big walls of text on how my new, uh, Gems of War team works, I thought I would go ahead, in lieu of that, just make a, make a video about it, um, it's probably gonna be a lot easier to explain. Uh, it's going to be a lot quicker and easier to show. And plus, um, uh, I'm sure most of the most of the people that check out my blog um, are Final Fantasy XIV players. They've probably never even played this game at all. So during during the uh, during the team that I'm going to show, um, I'll probably do a if I can remember to, I'll probably do a quickie tutorial as well, like the basics of how the game, how the game plays. That way, so. Those that you know, those that check my blog out that have never heard of this game or never seen it before, I'll I'll try to explain a little bit as to how it works to sketch in some context for how my team plays. So, and also like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Uh, this time around, it's gonna be Octopus Diver, uh, their Renegade album. Uh, not I I don't think it's their toy. I don't think it's their brand new latest album, but close to it. Um, I, I think their uh, their latest album is like 15 minutes. Anyway, I'm kind of getting off the subject, so let me go ahead and fire the music up. Okay, so let me do some... Let's get some preliminary stuff out of the way. Um... Income. Oh, oh. So. Uh, let's see if we'll be a good way to start. Okay, and I, I guess for those interested, this is one of the one part of the game here. Um, every um, when you first start, I think you're the very first kingdom here that you start with is Medana. Control is glitching there. So, but anyway, every every kingdom has this. You can do challenge battles, explore battles. You can level up your kingdom. You can level your power level. But again, my main goal. Um. Explore runs. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of a. I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy XIV equivalent of this. So, anyway, uh, here's anyway here's here's my team. Um, those that have played those that have played this game, uh, this is pretty much gonna be an all-time classic right here. Um, string fiddler, he uh, blows up gems, and he can also he can also silence. Uh, he can silence a target. Um, I keep hitting the wrong button. So again, the, again, those that have played this game before, these are going to be all too familiar. Uh, this is I call it the Turnip Crew. So you got King Gob. You know, makes green and brown gems. Uh, deals damage to all enemies. I think I said this before, he silences an enemy and he um he he blows up uh, blows up gems of whatever one of their mana colors is and flaming on eye. Um this is the uh, this is the new guy that I got in. Um uh, during my stream earlier today, me and um me and a guy named DJ Screw. Um we both we both discovered that uh, I actually had this troop. Which um, it, which uh, again blows up, blows up 36 green gems and uh, puts up a firestorm. Okay, I kind of lost my place here. Okay, yeah, and this 
This guy here, his he's the heavy hitter. Uh, he deals a bulk deals the bulk of the damage. Uh, single target, but he also makes uh, green and red gems. Oh, and I, that's what that's what I was wanting to do. Okay, so let's let's clear the filter. This is what this is what I originally had in had in here. I had him at the top, um, but I think um, I think when we first uh, put this team together, I don't think that we knew. We weren't aware that we had Flaming Onai. I think we just went under the assumption that we didn't. So, so we had him in here instead. And not a, not a big, not a big fan. The exploring the gems is good. Enchanting. Um, I do. I mostly do PvP. A lot of the situations that I'm in, I need the mana now, not later. So. So let's let's go ahead and give her a whirl, and then I gotta do something else here in the background real fast. Oh shit! Here we go again. Okay, so um, I'm most I'm mostly addressing. I'm mostly addressing people that have never played this game before. Um, Gems of War is a match three game. Um, if you, I'm pretty sure you guys have played Candy Crush Saga. Um, Bejeweled. You know, you match match at least three of the same color. Well, this game here has an RPG element to it. So, the colors you match is going to correspond to going to correspond to whatever uh, to that particular color of mana like in this example here that I'm going to do yellow if you look in the upper left corner of each of these cards you'll see their um, you'll see their mana requirement like this guy here he requires 14 mana um, from either brown mana or yellow mana and um, and when he when he's full of man when he's full up on it, then he can cast this ability here. And then for those that um, like in this example here, String Fiddler, um, he requires green mana, but this guy here, King Gob, also requires green mana. And so does Mr. Flaming and I here. Now. So in the case where your troops can share the same color mana, then it trickles down. What that means is the guy on the top is going to get first dibs, and then it's going to trickle down from there. You know, so when String Fiddler is full up, then he's next on the list for the green mana. After he's all full up, then Flaming and I is going to get all the rest. So what that what that also means is kind of like Darkest Dungeon, um, where you position these troops is very important because you could be short circuiting your whole build if you have them arranged wrong. So and then and then here as far as this board goes, if uh, typically if you just do a plain Gene three match, then then uh, the turn passes to your opponent, and then just goes back and forth. But if you can, um, if you can match four, or if you can match five, then you'll get an extra turn. It'll still be your turn. And if you notice, all my, all the troops in my group, all have gained an extra turn. So String Feathers got it. Um, it doesn't show it on on the. Uh, on the card here but if you look on the right right now it says quick gain an extra turn so he gains it too 
And I guess while I'm... Same thing here, gain an extra turn. It's a goblin specialty. So they all gain extra turns. And I guess since I'm here, um, these are, these are traits, these are passive abilities, so, I mean, kind of, you know, kind of like the character classes in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, WoW, and all kinds of other games, Diablo, these are all, these are all passive abilities that they have. So, I guess, Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm, in case you're curious, like, what I have going right now on the bottom, Firestorm, red gems fall more than other colors. Um, the Leaf Storm, green gems fall more often, etc. So, same, you know. Oh, and, um, just like Final Fantasy XIV, there are classes in this game. In this case, I'm running with a thief. If you look on the left, on the left. Um, just like the talent trees in World of Warcraft, um, I think it's like when you get to level 5 and then level 20, level 40, so I can't remember the exact numbers, but you get to choose a pass. You get to choose between three passive abilities. And then something else I'll go ahead and do, I don't want to I don't want to spend too much time doing this, but just so you guys have a little bit of an easier time seeing how this works, I'm going to go ahead and set the animation speed to times two instead of my usual times four. Okay, there's my four match. And then, at least for this particular team here, I'm looking for uh, brown and yellow matches. So now he's going to get a turn. And now, as you can see on the left, the turn up, he is now full of mana. So, I'm now going to cast this ability. But that, that's the basic skeleton, that's, excuse me, that's the basic skeleton of this game right here. So, um, so I guess the rest, for everybody else, like those that have actually played this game before, and for the people that haven't, so... This is how it works. This is the, uh... He's pretty much the lead-off man. This is the one the ability you want to get off first. And then you choose an enemy, and... The Dark and Out guy, he's stealthy. So, I can't target him. Unless there's no available targets. Now... Usually, just for the sake of speed, or... This is, like, more of one of the, one of the easier types of content to do. If I was doing PvP, where I'm going to be up, up against some super tough monsters, some super tough teams, then, yeah, I'm going to have to be very judicious on which guy I select, because certain ones have to fall before others. Here, it doesn't matter that much. So, usually, I just pick the guy on the top. And as you saw there, he, created a, he, he just created a bunch of green and red gems. But unfortunately, those creations didn't result in a four match, but luckily, I get an extra turn, so, and I found a four match here. So it stays my turn. But, and now, he's full of mana. And so what I'm gonna do now, um, silence an enemy. Uh, oh, and uh, I can't go back. I wanted, to, I wanted to explain something, but... There we go. And uh, I also silenced him. Now, what, the, what that means is... He, a, silenced, a silenced troop, they can't gain mana, nor can they cast spells. So... And looks like I didn't get Diddly Squad out of that, so... The process basically repeats. I gotta try to get, get him some browns and yellows to get him back up. Oh, and what, what you saw there a moment ago, um, the, the, the gem's not on here, but I trigger that, the certain kinds of gems that will blow a whole column, but, and then this guy here, like I said, he blow, this is my backup, 
he blows up a whole bunch of green gems. So. And there we go. But yeah, basically, my firing order is this guy. Um, I think then him. And then. And then it's gotta be him. Use him next because he makes brown gems. Which could might. Which might potentially get him filled back up. And then Flaming on I is the backup. When um when I can't use any of the other three, most likely I'll be able to use him. So. So. I'll fire on him. And then King Gob. String Fiddler, and this, I forgot to check beforehand, okay, silence does work. For this, for this build here, it definitely doesn't hurt to, it definitely doesn't hurt to check, to check their traits, some of them are immune to silence. I also forgot to mention too, um, you have a, you also have a percentage chance of causing a mana surge. Like in my case, it's 64%. What that means is, for every match I do, there's a 64% chance of getting double mana. And for some, um, for some of the, for the, for some of the runs that I do, that needs to kick in, because I gotta be able to get my game plan going before he gets his going. That, that's especially in PvP, so. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and, um. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, wrong one. I'm gonna go ahead and set the animation speed back to the max. I think you guys I think you guys already have it at the very least a rough idea of how this game plays. So and let's go down here. And the twin ups up. Nope. Still silence. So now I can target him. And so I'm gonna have to blow him. Like I said, he's my backup. Turn ups up. So, but it, this is like I said a few minutes ago. Um, some of the some of the enemies you fight are stealthy, which means you can't target them. Unless there are no other targets. Now, the exception being would be somebody like King Gob here. He deals damage to all enemies. Even stealthy ones. So. Uh. Alright, so, but... Go ahead and do one more. And so same thing here. It's pretty much gonna be a mad scramble to get enough uh, get enough mana to get my uh, turnip going. And it looks like it's already turned to crap. And then, okay, so yeah, he's, he's up, his uh, spell's ready to cast, so I'm gonna 
go ahead and silence him to keep that from happening, and looks like I got another chance, so, um... Now, as far as um, as far as the targeting goes, um, I kind of like kind of like turn up. Usually, I just aim for the guy on the top. Um, it just saves time, cause that uh, it only explodes, it only explodes one of uh, one of their mana colors. Um, I might I might do a quick once over on the board to see what if there's a particular color I should blow, but for the most part, it again the guy on the top, and then. For the um, for the uninitiated, um, exploding, ex uh, as it shows on the right there, it um, it it basically it literally does that. It blows up a gem and the eight gems around it. But doing that, you only get half the mana from them all. Um, and there's also a concept called destroy, as in destroying gems. Um, that there is just simply removed from the board. You get full mana from all that though. So. Something else I forgot to mention earlier. So. Turn ups up. Oh, and also, I one other thing I forgot to say uh, towards the start of this. This is one of the one of the things I love about this game. Um, it's um. I'm, I'm doing it right now. I'm using a controller, but you can also use a mouse as well. And you can use them both interchangeably. Like, moving the mouse right now, I can sit here and click him. Click him. So, and then I can go right from a mouse, right into a keyboard. Or in, I can go from mouse right into controller. I don't. I never really thought to check if you can use a keyboard. It doesn't. I'm hitting the keys right now. It doesn't look like you can. So, yeah. So mouse and controller. You can use both interchangeably. So yeah, it, I love that. I love that kind of functionality. I think Final Fantasy XIV has that as well. You can use. You can use basically everything. Mouse, keyboard, and controller, and you can use them all interchangeably. It isn't like some games I've played where you have to, it's basically one or the other. You want to use a controller, you have to state as such in the uh, options menu. Uh, break off of this and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna do a PvP battle and I'll probably get my butt kicked on this and yeah and when it get and with these kind of battles if it, if, it, if the battle looks unwinnable I'll just bail out immediately now which is one of the which is something else I kind of like about this game most of the time, you can just you can just retreat from battle at pretty much any time. Most of the time, no no harm, no foul. Except in, in PvP, it will count as a loss. So, but um, uh, but yeah, the, this team it's not infallible. They're not invincible. I mean, um, if they're if they're frozen, frozen, you're, you're we're pretty much dead in the water. Um, if you're webbed, especially uh, especially around, especially around this time, because uh, you got that that purple, you got those purple web gems and stuff.
This guy has got to go. He's dealing triple skull damage. Miraculously, miraculously, he didn't kill my off. Uh, he didn't one-shot this guy. And that's something else for the newbies. Um, I'll have to use the mouse for this. In case you're wondering about the numbers here, this is your armor. This is your armor. This is your life. As as you as you probably expect, if your life hits zero, you're dead. But most most of the time, unless stated otherwise, whatever you whatever you take damage, it gets taken from your armor first, and then your life. This number over here, this is your attack power. Um, whenever you match three or more skulls, the guy on the top will deal it will deal damage equal to his attack power to guy on the, to the guy on the top over here. Oh, also, five matches. If you manage to pull one off, um, it's a 100% chance that you'll get double mana. I think that's how it works. No, uh -oh. that guy's submerged, which means uh, I don't hope it'll show. Yeah, it probably, it probably will, but it'll take a while. If you can see the big the big blue swirly on him, on that guy there, um, he's immune to damage that targets an entire team. Controller's glitching. Which is uh, what this guy does, so... So what I'll do is I'll start working on him. I'm hoping he's not impervious. I forgot to check. Yes, he can be silenced. So, nothing I can do there. I'm so glad he's out of there. Um, so... I can silence him. So we'll start plugging away on him. Okay, so, well, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do this video to spare me a whole lot of typing and working on my blog post. So, but I hope this helped you guys out. Um, and, and, one, and in case I didn't say already, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.